Hi everyone, so today I'm going to show you how to draw Spongebob dissected with a simplified bone structure that I came up with. I think Jason Feeney, when I was in a toy designer art game, I think he was the first one to recreate, or he was, he was the first one to do like this dissected thing. Uh, we'll talk more about that later, but I'm going to be using cardstock here. I didn't go for the yellow just because I'd be doing too much coverage, so I'm using this thick cardstock. Um, so I'm not going to use the yellow as I said because... I'm not using too much yellow on this page. It's mostly going to be white and a little bit yellow filling. So to save paint energy, I decided just to use standard white cardstock. I already got it all sketched out. And I decided to do um, a simple dissected, like the bone structure. Nothing too crazy. As I said, I think Jason Feeney, he was the first one to do this kind of thing on the toy design. I mean, or I don't know if he did digital art, I can't recall. But I remember he did the dissected on a few figures. And now a lot of people are doing dissected. But they do too much bone structure. I feel like Spongebob is a real simple character. So I didn't want to have all these bones and all these tendons and stuff. So I decided to do something really simple that anybody can do. So this is for you guys to recreate. Um, and, and the bone structure is simple. And you're still going to get a really cool dissected look. But a uh, simplified bone structure. Where you don't have all the tendons and all the insides. It's just simple. So I'm going to walk you guys through the coloring process. I'm using the Alpha Acrylic Paint Markers for this. Not my Posca. <laughs> well, I'm using Posca, I think, throughout this video. I can't recall. It took me an hour to do this. I'm having some issues with this marker, guys. I'm um, doing a final review. I noticed that the, the, the nibs are clogging on me. Like, I'll use them, and then I'll put them away, and then the next day, I feel like the nibs are clogging. And you'll see some of that through this video. So, um, I'm switching back and forth with markers. And there's going to be some parts where I'm going to switch off, and you're going to see some line work done. That's because I'm doing also a short. I'm doing my short videos, and I want to include this in that so I can kill two birds with one stone. So if you guys see any of the line work completed while I'm doing this video, it was because of that. So right now I'm laying down the yellow and then I'm letting it dry, you know, and then come back in some areas doing some touch ups. I'm coming here with the blue um, and it's dark blue. As you can see here, um, I pumped it off camera and it's going on kind of dry. So I'm coming in here, you know, it's starting to saturate and but it's um. It starts to dry off here like you see me scratching there like the paint is not flowing because I feel like the the nib on the paper and it starts to tear up the paper. So I bring a coaster here that I have from Sticker Mule and then I'm trying to like draw on it. And as you can see, I pumped it and it's just going on really dry. So I think the, the acrylic paint is drying overnight on the nibs. Look at my fingers like it's just a big mess. And um. And I had that happen already with four markers, and I had to swap out the nibs. Like, the pink happened to me, so I put a new nib. So now I'm down a few nibs, but um, I contacted um, Alpha 6 Corp. Let's see what they say. But I'm coming in right now with the uh, maroon for the mouth. Um, I can do maroon on the other side of the mouth, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do black just because I want this piece to pop. So right now I'm coming in with the yellow, um, filling it in. So make sure, guys, you try this out. It's a real simple drawing. Um, SpongeBob, you can find it online. And the bone structure, at the end of this video, I'm going to have a close-up. And you can really recreate it. It's not too hard. But it's a real simple design. Um, as I said, a lot of people do the dissected, but it has too much bone structure. It has, like, tendons and stuff. This is a real simple way you can do it, and it still looks really cool. And I feel like this one looks more better anyway. Not because I did it, just because it has more of a cartoony look to it. Where the other ones are like a cartoony SpongeBob and a real, you know, like technically dissected inside. So right now, I slowed it down a bit. And I'm going to show you guys how to do um one line and one pass. As I said, I, I made half of this for my shorts, but I'm going to continue this. So right here, what I'm doing is sliding my hand. So make sure that the paint is dry so you don't mess it up. And the only way you're going to get a nice clean line is by sliding your hand. Because you can't do it with your wrist movement. You might make a mistake. So learn to use your hand in a sliding movement, as you can see here. So I'm going to do this on the top as well and on the bottom. So you can see I'm just sliding my hand back, moving my elbow back and sliding and following the line. So I'm going to show you guys as well here. 
Hold the paper firmly so it doesn't move and you don't make a mistake. And I'm trying to get my camera on an angle. So right here, just find your line and then just move it back. And you're going to get that nice clean line. Just practice. After a while, you'll pick it up. I had to stop there just because like the, the yellow on the paper had a little bump. So I had to put some pressure to keep moving. But it's the same technique. Just slide your hand back. I'm going to do the same thing here. I'm going to get down, get a little fluid, and just move my hand back. And then you just move my wrist a little bit just so I can get the wavy action. There you go. Nice, clean line. You So you don't have to connect it. So here, I'm going to do one sweep. Cross. Sweep across. First pants, I use this tan. Just because I had an issue with the nibs as well. So I didn't want to, you know, waste all these nibs. As I said, I contacted Acrylic Alpha 6 Corp with the issue with the markers and the fluidity. And um, so I decided to use like this dark tan because the brown that I had, um, the nib was dry. And I didn't want to waste it. I wanted to try out some other colors. <laughs> so I don't know if it's a color pigment. Because the yellow, as you can see, I had the yellow open the other day. It works fine. The red. And the green. No, I think the green. Yeah, I had an issue with the green as well. So, yeah, I don't know what's up with that. But I'm coming now. Doing um, the size of his white shirt. Doing his hands. And on the fingers, it's really tight on the inside. I don't want to damage it because the marker is really thick. So, I'm going to come in with a ballpoint later on. I'm doing his legs now. Real simple. Just fill it in. Doing it under his chin. So now I'm going to come in with the green. Coloring that in. You could actually, I could have actually did a green outline. Because that's what um, sometimes Spongebob, have, they have that green outline on, for his line work. But I decided to do black just because I wanted to make it pop with the bone structure. Coming in doing his cheek, his tongue. You know, letting that paint dry. We're going to do some touch-ups later to sharpen up those lines. So here I wasn't really liking the blue. So I came in with a baby blue. Um, I feel like the blue is too dark. And I feel like the baby blue looks a lot better. So I'm coming in and filling that in. And the outside of his eye, you can do that black. But I like it the way it is. So I'm not going to. So I'm coming here with the yellow and just sharpening that up. Because usually, you know, he has like the eyelashes and stuff. But I like the way it looks right here. So I'm not going to do nothing too crazy. So now I'm coming in here and I'm sharpening up the lines. This was really going to make it pop. You know, some people like just doing the lines like that, really fat and thick. I don't like doing that. I like the sharpness. So I'm coming in here and I'm sharpening up all these lines just by building over the existing lines. And you're going to probably have to let that dry and come back because as you can see in his nose, there's some black showing through. So it looks like a little tan color, but you just come back. Once it dries, hit it again, and then the color will be nice and uniform as you can see there. And then you building up those sharp lines just gives the piece a better look. All right, this is the attention to detail that I'm talking about. So make sure you're 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 taking those extra steps, guys. Coming in here, doing his pants again, filling in some areas that has spots, sharpening up the lines, making that piece really pop. Doing his sock now. Yeah, I'm having issues with that blue. So yeah, I just only I just did a small line, so it wasn't a big deal. Made a little mistake with the red there, little dot, but we'll fix that later. So I'm coming in here now, just tightening up to these lines. And now we get ready to do the bone structure. So here you go. Slide your hand, remember guys, so you get them nice clean lines. And hold the paper so you don't make a mistake. So as I, can, as I said, I could use like that maroon color inside the mouth, but I wanted to pop. So I decided just to use the black. And like I said, the bone structure here is real simple. You know, it's just, it's nothing too complicated. So anybody can really do this. So if you got, when you guys recreate it, just tag me. I have, if, if you follow, if you have an IG, follow me on IG and just tag me on IG. If you make a YouTube video, tag me as well. I want to see you guys do it as well. It's real simple. And I'm showing you how I'm coloring it here as well. So if you guys got paint markers, give it a go. Doing a shirt now. Building up these lines. 
Now I'm doing his shoe. As you can see, the leg is just one little bone. I mean, his foot is one bone. It's no little bones. It's real simple. Um, more of a cartoony version of the dissected. Doing his arm now. Little hands. Real simple. Nothing too complicated. It's just all oval. Stretched out ovals here. Everything is a stretched out oval. So I'm going to do the eye. I, I didn't want to do a complete circle on the eye, so I decided to um, feather out the lines here. Gives it more, more of in that illusion. I like the way it came out. It looks really cool. So now I'm erasing some of the lines on the inside, putting some highlights, doing little touch-ups here and there. And it's pretty much done now. So there you go, guys. All done. Hope you like it. Give it a try. As I said, if you post it on, on Instagram, follow me on IG and tag me. And if you make a YouTube video, tag me as well. Just do at Fast Factory. Real simple, dissected. Um, I really enjoyed doing this piece. I'm going to be working on a few other ones as well, so stay tuned. So subscribe, like, comment, and share. Um, if you like the dissected or what other character you want to see dissected. And I'll do a real simplified version. So thank you for watching Fast Factory, my channel. I am the artist, and here is my art. I have my own original style as well, guys, so be sure to check out my videos on IG. I have my own um, bubble lettering style as well. If you want to learn more about that, as I said, follow me on IG and check out all my other videos. So subscribe, comment, like, share. I appreciate it.